we want to take a look at the question, do we live in a black hole? And if you go back to the TV series Cosmos, Carl Sagan made the comment, if you want to know what it's like inside a black hole, just look around you. And in the remake of Cosmos, uh, similar words were spoken. So do we, do, we, do we live in a black hole? I don't think so. But I'll give you an interesting uh, discussion. Um, it turns out that from Einstein's general relativity, you can write down an expression for the gravitational redshift. And that is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus 2g m over c squared r minus 1. So what's this mean? Here we have some massive body. And we imagine that we're emitting some light from it. And that as the light goes out further and further, the wavelength increases. So lambda increases. And we call this the gravitational redshift. So what? Well, what's interesting is if you take a look at this equation and you say to yourself, what happens if R equals 2gm over c squared? G, again, the gravitational constant, m, the mass of the body, and R, the di distance out, and c is the speed of light. If we put r in equal to that, we get 1 minus 1, and so z blows up, so it goes to infinity. So what that means, if we have that sort of setup, um, light couldn't escape that body. And so that brings us into the idea of a black hole. So again, the gravitational redshift is given by this equation. We're going to ask ourselves what happens if we let r equal to 2 gm over c squared. We, if we put that in, we'll get 1 minus 1 is 0. That blows up. Z blows up. And that suggests that light's not going to leave whatever it's in because if you have such a large uh, shift, it is basically meaningless. So the light won't leave. So that brings us to the idea of a black hole. So here's a black hole, let's say. And if you saw the movie Interstellar, they have a picture of uh, a black hole in that. And what you see is what is called the event horizon. You don't see the black hole. You see the event horizon. And the event horizon, it turns out, is given by this quantity right here. So if we have a black hole with a mass m, and g is the gravitational constant, the radius of the, for the event horizon will be given by this, this expression. And that radius. I hope I can spell this right, it's called the Schwarzschild radius. S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-S-C-H-I-L-D. I think that's right, Schwarzschild. If they had vanity plates in Pennsylvania that allowed that many letters, that's what my vanity plate would say, Schwarzschild. Anyhow, that's the, the Schwarzschild radius is given by this R. So. We could ask ourselves what, if we, if we want to 
begin by saying we do live in a black hole, well, what is the radius of our, our universe? Can we come up with some number to figure out what the radius would be? And we can, roughly, very roughly speaking. So, so how could we estimate the mass of the universe? Mass of the universe. What could we say that's equal to? Well, the general view is that there's a hundred billion galaxies in the universe that we can see. A hundred billion galaxies. That's 10 to the 11th galaxies. And in each galaxy, if you take the Milky Way as a typical case, there's a mass of approximately 10 to the 12 suns. So we have 10 to the 12 suns per galaxy. And then what's the mass of the sun? Two times 10 to the 30th kilograms is the mass of the sun. So we can estimate the mass of the universe, multiply this all out, and we would get 2, so the mass of the universe is going to be equal to 2 times 10, add up all the exponents, and you get 53. So now we can say that the radius of the universe is equal to 2g m of the universe, mass for the universe, over c squared. And if we put in the right value for g, for c, using MKS units throughout, and this for the mass of the universe, we'll get a very large number. And so what we really want to do here is convert this to light years. And so uh, the units of this will be meters. And so the question is, how many meters are there in a light year? And it's uh, 9.46 times 10 to the 11th meters in one light year. So we're going to get the radius now. If we do that, we're going to get the radius in uh, light years. 10 to the 15th. Sorry. One light year is 9.46 times 10 to the 10 to the 15th meters. So if we work that out, we get approximately 3 times 10 to the 10th light years. So that's 30 million light years. That's uh, 30 giga light years. 30, mil 30 million light years. And what, what is the what is the radius of the universe? Well, you can look up work done by Gott et al. I think that was in 2005. And they published an estimate for the radius of the universe. be approximately 46 billion light years. So it's not exactly equal, but it's darn close. So if you want to think that we live in a black hole, you can kind of think of it about the size of the universe and what the Schwarzschild radius would be for our universe 
consisting of the mass that we came up with, and you find out that the radius of the universe is very close. The radius of the black hole, the, the event horizon from the Schwarzschild radius, is very close to what Gott and company had published. So do we live in a black hole? No. But it's kind of an interesting exercise to go through to show that the Schwarzschild radius for the mass we came up with for the universe is very close to what people say the radius of the universe is.